My question to Elizabeth is uh, the new anti-terrorist bill and uh, how will it protect Canadians now and in the future and will it have any uh, bad effect towards Canadians? That's my question to Elizabeth. Stephen Harper brought out a bill which he didn't release in Parliament before he'd had a campaign style rally declaring that it was dealing with radical jihadism. His language was all about war and fear. But Bill C-51 will not make Canadians safer. The bill is so badly designed, so poorly worded, and focused on the wrong threats that security experts have examined it and concluded it could well make us less safe. It could create a vast secret police within CSIS that's running counterintelligence operations and monkey wrenching in places that they don't even notify the RCMP what they're doing. Look, since 9-11, Canada has passed at least eight laws that deal with the threat of terrorism. The RCMP now have powers to arrest people before they do things. The RCMP has the ability to surveil different operations, to intercept to arrest people. They have shut down a number of terrorist plots across Canada, whether it's the Toronto 18 or the Via Rail plot. Now, I take terrorism seriously, but the much larger threat is the climate crisis. There are many more important issues on our radar. We have tools to fight terrorism. Bill C-51 is not primarily about terrorism. It creates vast, vague, and unwieldy powers that could chill free speech, make it much more dangerous for people to organize to block pipelines and tankers. It could target First Nations and infiltrate and interrupt their legitimate activities to protect their territories. Bill C-51 is a threat to our freedoms. It's not necessary in the fight against terrorism. It won't make us safer. We need to stop it. <laughs>